So I'm deciding which story I should tell first. I have a story of when I had a roommate, what I learned about myself when I had that roommate, and I wanted to talk about love languages. So for 10 minutes, I'm going to talk about, I guess I'll start with the roommate. So was it in 2022 into 2021, I had a roommate if she sees this, she'll know exactly that I'm talking about her. It was two of them. She was a Scorpio. And the other was a Cancer. I was... I was gonna move in with my brothers at the time. But then, you know, a lot of disrespect happened. And I was like, I can't take this. I think talked about putting myself first so then when my friend told me the cancer guy told me that he got an apartment i was like bet but he's always all over the place so then that's when we'll call her trish that's not her name she came and then we all started living together it was one of the best times of my life in terms of like what i learned about myself so at the time, was I going through a breakup? I wasn't. I was dating a guy that was like toxic and not good for me. And uh, we had a lot of fun. We used to go for walks together. She was bisexual, so her girlfriend used to come over. I remember that year, I threw a huge party for my brother right after me, the one that literally disrespected me, and I was supposed to live with them. I don't even remember how we started talking again, but we did. And I threw him a party. Um, it wasn't. It was a. It was a really nice party. Like a lot of people came. My friends pulled up, and it was great. While I was living there, I think what happened. So I think it was right before I moved in there. I was going through some not something. I was trying to figure out why I was the way that I was. I cry easily, I get upset so quickly, and when I get upset, I say horrible things, which I've worked on, and I don't do that anymore. So I asked my mom, I don't know where I saw the thing about your zodiac signs, which like, I'm a Sagittarius, Gemini moon. That's why, like, I don't like to wear clothes, but that's besides the point. It's because I'm always hot, like, it's always hot. That's really why. So, you know, like, I asked my mom, your mom, how do you find out these things? You're supposed to know, like, your date of birth, the month, the day, the year, and the time. So I asked my mom, I was like, mom, what time was I born? She originally told me that I was born right before the hour on December 5th, like, right almost December 6th. So then that would have made me a Virgo rising. But I'm like, I don't really act like a Virgo, though. Like, I'm very forgiving. Like, I don't really hold grudges against people if I really like them. Which I don't know if that's how Virgos are, but that's how they come off to me. Um, I'm like, I don't feel like I act like a Virgo in any way. So then it's not so recently I asked her again. I was like, Mom, what time was I born? And she gave me the exact time. And, you know, so for a very long time, I was living my life thinking that I was Virgo rising when I wasn't. This comes back to, like, when I read those things about me. Now, everybody has a way in which they decide to live their life. Whether it's, this is how I am, and I'm not changing, like, this is, you're just going to have to deal with it. Or, you can take it upon yourself if you feel like, like, for me, I knew that I didn't like that I got mad so easily. I wanted to, like why am i like this like why do i get mad i say horrible things like you know i used to even fight with boys in high school and you know when i backtrack like i go into my mind i'm like okay so when did it all start when i remember in high school you know that's when it really and then it went into like me having a boyfriend i remember when i was with d we'll call him d i used to be sweet i could be super nice but then when I get upset, I would say bad things. So I really just wanted to know um, what that was all about. And that helped me a lot. Now, it probably doesn't work for everyone. 
not everyone can figure out like their sun their moon their rising i don't really know if your parents or if it's not on your birth certificate the time you were born it could be inaccurate i remember i told someone that and said like if it's not accurate then what's the point which is like true but it's really just sitting down and me thinking about all these things and then like i was like thinking about how i treat people and um found out that you know my love language is quality time and acts of service there are quizzes you can do online maybe i'll link one under my video so that you can figure that out but i feel like these things are so helpful especially in the world we live in now before we didn't have this information but now that we do have it why not use it to be better instead of saying that's how i am if i figure out the type of person that i am and i read things that kind of align with how i evaluate i evaluate myself i reflect on me and if i read something and it's like it doesn't have to be spot on but it could be you can see a pattern there and you'd be like, okay, that makes sense. You know, I definitely know that I'm a Gemini moon, Sagittarius Gemini moon, like, because those things that are said make sense. There's nothing wrong with, like, you know, reading things and being like, you're right. It's okay. So with that being said, like, you know, I dive deeper and deeper into just, like, reading 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 and just like learning things about me that helps me evolve as a person if i read something that i didn't like for example if it said that as a gemini moon this is something and i feel like i don't like it i decide not to be or if i notice that really as a part of my behavior i try to just work on canceling it out I don't want to be like that person I just want to be like a positive thinking wonderful person that just like lives life to the fullest being great I did a quiz I remember my friend sent me that quiz and I found out that you know what my love language is I do like spending time with people so i think there's four of them there's actually five of them um so for me when i did and I, you have to answer the quiz or truthfully and i found out that mine like i already said is quality time and acts of service they could also be physical touch like i've met gone out with guys that are constantly just trying to like rub my legs some people that's their love language and it's not mine so it irritates me that's why i feel like this matters because it helps you omit it's like if that's not what you like then just or you could adapt it really depends on you um some are words of affirmation like one of my friends did it and his was words of affirmation and quality time some people some men just want to or people especially men want to be told that they're doing a good job want to be told that you know they look good or I'm proud of you and these things help them feel great that could be based on their chart it could be based on how they grew up but that's just their love language and last but not least receiving gifts I know a lot of you especially you girls would be like my love languages money 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 receiving gifts but it could be like a lot of different things so you can do the quiz I don't really know how we got here started off with me talking about my roommate getting into love language but it all comes together because it started at that time with that roommate who introduced me to the book that I'm about to read now and you know sometimes in life there's a certain point where you decide to get to know yourself and love yourself and you evolve from there and it started with that roommate so that is why I started this story this way so if you have a story to tell how you evolved and are growing you can leave that in the comments you're welcome